Hey guys, in this video, um, this is going to go along with the theme that I've been talking about under leveraging and about learning to dial it back. And I want to talk a little bit about the, um, the male psyche. I want to talk about how we kind of naturally operate. So 99.8% of my audience is male. Uh, I have the channel analytics. So I know how you operate because many of you operate very similar to me. Um, we're natural risk takers, right? And we're confident in our ability to get things done. Because uh, if we didn't have any belief that we could actually accomplish something, well, then we just wouldn't even try. Um, but, guys, you got to learn to to everything in life is a balance, right? It's it's a balance. So on the one hand, you need to be a gallant knight and and ride forth and conquer. But on the other hand, you need to be patient and disciplined and, and, and learn not to be prideful. Guys, if you come to me and you say, hey, Reese, over the past week, I made $300 or I made $400. I made $200. You say, hey, Reese, I didn't lose money this week. I'm proud of you. I mean that. I mean that 100%. I, I mean that in the most sincere way possible. I think that there's way too much ego investment into trying to show the biggest P&Ls in one night, trying to, um, quote unquote, a measuring contest, if you know what I mean. Um, and guys, I'm, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm a competitive man, and and I have a competitive spirit, and I do want to conquer, and I obviously want to get things done, but there's balances that you have to learn in life if you really want to be long term successful. And one of those balances is uh, this is not a measuring contest, guys. Um, over time, slow and steady wins this race. It, it just does. And so for many of you young men, uh, if you're my age, I'm 27. Um, if you are my age, you're a little bit older, or especially if you're a little bit younger, um, you are going to hit it too hard. Uh, you're going to trade too much size. Uh, you're going to try and, like, brag to your friends and – this, that, and the other. And guys, it doesn't matter. Like, none of that matters. It's really just about j making income over time. And that is it. Um, it does not matter what any of you think of me. Uh, it doesn't matter to me at all. Uh, my only objective is to is to become a successful day trader and, and generate income and, and support myself. That's it. I don't care if I make the most money day trading versus anybody else. Um, there's, there are day traders that make millions of dollars. I mean, obviously, it doesn't matter how big I get, guys. It's, it's always going to be somebody bigger than you. So you might as well just give up on that contest right now because there's always going to be a bigger YouTuber than you, and there's always going to be a bigger day trader than you, and there's always going to be an algorithm that is better than you. That's not the measuring stick, guys. The measuring stick is, do I still have an account today? Do I still have funds with which to trade? Am I still live? Have I have I made a small amount of income? You know, have I been slow? Have I been steady? Uh, you've got to put the pride thing down, guys. The pride cometh before the fall, and I promise you that it does come before the fall. Pride cometh before the fall, and if some of you young men don't get out of your kind of natural headspace of conquer, 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 um, there's been many a young bravado man that is wanted to go out and conquer the financial markets and a many a young gallant man who ended up uh, broke and broke. So you got to get out of that mindset, guys. You got to get out of the mindset of trying to prove something to someone else, even trying to prove something to yourself. Uh, you just you got to stick very hard and strong to slow and steady wins this race. Uh, trading very small and trading over time consistently, you will see positive results over time and it doesn't matter whether you are making the most amount of money compared to everybody else guys you're still going to be doing way better than you probably were before right if you're going from a losing trader to a break-even trader to long-term positive long-term profitable is, is that not progress so guys you're a young man you've got you, you've got an instinct to want to take risk and unfortunately that is a good thing and it's a bad thing because you might overestimate your capability to do something over which you really have very little control. 
as you don't control the financial markets. Uh, you do control yourself, however, and you can learn healthy habits and you can learn risk management and you can learn day trading models. Um, and those are the things that you can control, but you cannot control the financial markets. There's no amount of bravado that can control the financial markets. So stop trying to measure yourself to anybody else in your Discord group, in your family, in your friends, me, YouTuber. You got to stop trying to impress people with your with your P&L, guys. If your P&L is, if it, listen, the most impressive thing that you could show me on a P&L statement is you have more money than you did after a year and you've been actively day trading. That, I don't care if it's a dollar more. If, if you are positive after a whole year of day trading, uh, that's pretty damn impressive to me because I know how hard this stuff is. I, I know firsthand how difficult this task really is, believe me. So if you show me anything where you're long-term successful, I'm like, yeah, okay, this guy means business. So anyways, guys, pride cometh before the fall. Uh, you need to learn to put the, put the torch down and be more patient and, and don't worry about what other people think. All right, guys. Bye-bye.